Hey everybody, Curtis here with another pedal demo for you. This time it is the Wampler Pedals Latitude Tremolo Deluxe. I'm going to be using my MJT VTT Telecaster guitar with Porter pickups, going into my Matchless Chief 10 amplifier, into its 112 speaker cabinet, mic to a Sennheiser E906, and here is my clean tone. <laughs> And here is the Latitude Tremolo. So, as you can hear, we have an incredible sounding uh, tremolo pedal here from Wampler Pedals. The Latitude has an all-natural analog signal path. So, it's really, really natural sounding, not harsh or choppy uh, like a digital um, tremolo pedal uh, can be. Um, this here is all analog signal path, and then they're using the digital technology to control the parameters, but it does not change the actual signal from analog to digital. Um, it is very, very cool. It has a number of different options on it. Uh, really, really quickly, it has the standard uh, level control, speed, and depth that you would see on a tremolo. Then we have a space and an attack, which I will explain. Then we have a subdivision switch right here, which is enables you to select between four different rhythmic options. Um, and they're multiples of what you tap in, essentially. And then we have three different selectable waveforms. So I'm going to go through these uh, different uh, rhythmic options first. So we were starting there with sort of a quarter uh, note um, rhythm in the tremolo uh, pulsations. <laughs> So now we will switch to eighth note, and I'll just let you listen here. And then we will switch to dotted eighth note, and this is all uh, multiplication. Um, of what I have tapped in using the tap tempo. So just so you know. And then the last position here, we have a triplet option. <laughs> So really, really handy to be able to have that nice kind of warm analog sound and tone, but be able to have those rhythmic options in an analog uh, signal path in this tremolo. So really, really cool. So I'm going to bring it back up to uh, the quarter note option. Now I want to go through the different waveforms. We were kind of in the middle there. Uh, the three different uh, options are uh, square, which is where we'll start now, and then a peak which is where we were playing a moment ago, and then a scene sort of shaped waveforms. And uh, so I'll just let you listen to those now. That's clean tone for you.
So as you can hear, that was sort of a stronger, kind of a sharper sounding uh, waveform that we chose there with a the square wave. But it really wasn't really harsh or um, really wasn't kind of like uh, kind of almost sharp. Um, it just kind of has this nice sort of analog tone to it still, and it just really, uh, just really has this nice kind of um, application. And we could turn the depth up more, and they would be a little bit stronger of a square wave. But um, yeah, so it's a really cool option to have. And then we will go all the way to the right, uh, the third option, the one that we haven't heard yet. And I will back up on that depth knob to where it was a moment ago. <laughs> As you listen to the tremolo kind of fade itself out, it really has this beautiful, nice kind of natural analog sound to it because it is an analog signal path. So um, now next, I want to show you a few other options. We'll put it back to the middle option on the waveform so you can hear that again. Um, this space control right here, it's kind of adds more space or less space between the volume bursts. It's almost like um, rather than having a standard waveform up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It's kind of like up, down, across, up, down, across. And that little across is the amount that we are able to adjust with the space knob. So it's kind of like the space kind of between the uh, volume bursts, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. So I'm going to show you, um, just let you listen now. And, uh, and then I will turn this to the left and to the right so you can hear the difference. Here we go. <laughs> So you can hear when you crank that space knob to the right, kind of decreases the amount of space, and it's almost like you're riding kind of almost on the top of the waves, um, and it uh, just has a really cool sound. So I'm just going to switch really quickly back to the square wave mode, and I'm going to bring the depth up just a little bit and just let you listen um, so you can hear it in a more exaggerated setting. So to get that analog kind of tone and then be able to control that space between the waves is really cool. And even when you go to the uh, square wave kind of sound um, and it gives you that really kind of rhythmic tone, then remember you have all these other uh, rhythmic options with that um, subdivision selecting switch right there. So now I want to go to this uh, attack knob right here and I want to explain it very quickly first and then I'll let you listen and hopefully be able to hear it. Um, so it kind of changes how the tremolo sounds um, in the way that how it, how it rises and falls and whether it is doing so evenly on either side of the waveform or almost uh, slanted. So if you have this all the way to the right, um, it rises quickly and falls slow. And if we have this all the way to the left, it rises slow and falls quickly. And then where we had it in the middle, is kind of like it's more even um, and uh, yeah so just uh, very quickly I'll let you listen again and then we will play with that control <laughs> So now I'm going to slant it to the left, which means it'll rise slowly and fall quickly. <laughs> Oh. 
There we have it, folks. The Latitude from Wampler Pedals. Incredible sounding all analog, all natural analog signal path, and it has an incredible amount of controls on it. Really enables you to shape uh, the sound of your tremolo and in a number of different ways. It gives you the ease of having the tap tempo control on there. So if you get out of sync with the band, you can just sync right back up with a couple of taps of your foot. And um, it is, it's awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you absolutely have to. Please subscribe to my channel if you can. I do appreciate all the likes and views, and I hope you have a great day. Later.